Hey, what's up, Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, um, TikTok, and everything that's in between. I'm here to do another video. Uh, this one is going to be about how can you use your weapon uh, with your martial arts. Well, one cool thing about doing different styles is you can mix and match everything that you're doing. For instance, you may do a Krav Maga move, you know, get a point of entry, and then you can turn around, do a Jiu Jitsu move, do a single leg takedown, um, and then, you know, you can push them down. And let's say you um, carry inside your waistband your your gun or your your for for my sake uh, my burner. You can draw it and then back away, or you can let's say a any type of wazza throw or a trip, and you can get them off base and it give you just enough time to draw your weapon and create space. Uh, let's say you on the ground and you are the and you have your weapon on you and they grab it for your weapon. Let's say you do what's called a flower sweep. You sweep them off your feet. You get a uh, top mount. You 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 know punch whatever. Create space to uh, to, to get your weapon. Of course, nothing is perfect. Um, there's always error for, there's always possibility of errors. But I think if you add everything that you train to do in other styles and add a weapon, it just makes you that much more dangerous, that much more lethal to defend yourself. So let's say you have a person, let's say that person is drunk. That person is drunk and they are, ah, I don't care, I don't care, and you shoot them, and you shoot them, and by the time you shoot them a couple of times, let's say if you do a, a burner kinetic round and you you have them down on the ground, um, you can apply weight or you can you know hold their attention. Uh, they're going to be on the ground for a while. Now, for my case, I have plastic cuffs that I keep. And if I know they fully down, um, I'm going to use it. Or if I think I can get away or take a picture, I'm going to get away. Uh, what you don't want is you do it, you give them enough time, and then they're going to get back up. You don't want them to get back up. You want them to stay down because they going to say in their head, oh my, okay, he did that to take me down. I'm not going to let you do it again. Uh, there's something about pain that make people learn real fast. So in, in, incorporate all your other styles. If you are a Cali, Screamer, artist person, I think this is perfect. You can you know, do your point of entry, take down if you have a weapon or even a pepper spray. Let's say a a mace pepper spray, you spray them, you know, you can trip them or just get away depending on what how you spray them because you don't want it either. And the best solution is just to get away. So you you know you have different entry, but I will say practice, 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 because if you practice it enough, it becomes muscle memory. I remember I had a kid that I was working with, I was working at a juvenile detention place, and the person, he called himself trying to sucker punch me, but I felt it. I felt him coming, he was positioning, his shoulders were raising, his breath was going up and down. And, and I timed it, and I surprised him so fast because I'm a big guy, but I'm faster than you think. I mean, I, I'm not, I'm not Bruce Lee or Char Jackie Chan, 
but I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit faster than, than you think. I'm not completely dead yet. So I, and I surprised them. So you add all that element in, uh, that will work for you. So I hope this helps, and until next video, keep training.